Hey everyone. So in last lecture we talked about uh, linear transformations. Okay, we saw that when if you have a vector space v and w over real numbers, then when I will call a function to be a linear function or a linear map or a linear transformation. Okay. After that, in the next lecture we saw about the kernel. Kernel is a subspace of the domain space. Okay. So we have seen these two lectures. Link you can find in the description. Okay. Now today we are going to look at the subspace of the codomain. Okay, so suppose our v and w are vector space over real numbers. It can be over complex number or any field. But for simplicity, let me stick to real numbers. So my v and w are vector space over real numbers. My t is a linear map. Okay, that means it satisfies two properties. T of u plus v is t of u plus t of v, and t of alpha u, where alpha is a real number, is alpha times t of u. So therefore, t is a linear map. Now, what is image set of t? So the image set of t is nothing but you look at all images. Okay. So you keep on changing the vector in the domain. You keep on changing v bar, and you look at all the images. So this is the collection of all images of the vectors v under the map t. So this is called as the image set of t. Now this image set. Forms a subspace. So this is a subset of W because I am looking at the images. So this is a subset of W. More precisely, I am trying to say that this forms a subspace of W. Okay. And as soon as a subset forms a subspace, you can talk about the basis and the dimension. And in future, we will see that dimension of the image space is called as the rank of a transformation. Okay. But okay, that's the next further thing. As if now I want to prove that image set forms a subspace. So first thing, what I need to show, for I need to show that this is a non-empty set. So my claim is zero bar belongs to image of T. So when n vector will be in the this set when it is T of something. Now this is zero bar is here. See this is a vector space. This is a vector space. Okay. So my v is a vector space. My w is a vector space. It's a vector space, so it has a zero vector. So this is a zero vector of v, and this is a zero vector of w. But on the linear map, we know that zero vector always goes to a zero vector. Okay, so t of zero is zero. So this is your zero vector in w is image of a zero vector of v. So therefore, since this zero of w is t of something, therefore this belongs to image of t okay so zero bar is an image because zero bar of w is t of something whenever you have an element which is t of something it is in the image so therefore this is a non empty set okay good what is the next thing i want to show i want to show that if x bar comma y bar is in the image and your alpha is a real number then i want to show that alpha into x bar Plus y bar is in the image of T. So once I showed it, we know that image forms a subspace. Now see x bar is in the image. Whenever something is in the image, how it will look like? Image is T of something. So how your x bar will look like? Your x bar will be T of a bar for some a bar in V. Okay, where a bar is in V, because that's how the elements of image looks like. Your y bar is an image. So how your y bar will look like? It is t of b, where b bar is in b. Okay. Now how your alpha x bar plus y bar look like? So alpha into what is my x bar? It is t of a. What is my y bar? It is t of b bar. But t is a linear map. So what is this? This alpha will come inside by property of linearity. And again, by property of linearity, this t will come outside. T of alpha a bar plus b bar, right? Now, where is a and b? They are in v. V is a vector space. So, alpha into a is an element of v. This is an element of v. B bar is an element of v. Therefore, their addition is again an element of v. So, alpha x bar plus y bar is t of something, and this something is an element of v. Okay, so your alpha x bar plus y bar is t of something. Therefore, this belongs to image of t. Because when an element is in the image, when it is t of something, 
okay so therefore your image of t forms a subspace of w okay now let's try to see some examples so the first is a linear map from r2 to r2 okay it is taking a vector x comma y from a two dimensional space t is r2 to r2 i want to find the image okay so what is the image of t i know it's a subspace so it is nothing but t of xy where my xy is a vector in r2 it's always good to write down the definition first okay so this is a definition of an image set but how my t is defined it is nothing but x0 where my x is an element of r now there is no y that's why i'm not writing y over here now what is this this is in, in r2 and i'm looking at which vector those vector where my second component is 0 which is nothing but the x axis so image set of this is nothing but x axis okay so that's the first example now let's go for another example uh, let me modify this itself uh, let me take this as x plus y and x minus y this again map from r2 to r2 let us try to see this now see finding image is not that always straightforward one has to apply many results to guess the image okay now here this is the definition of image what is t of x y it is x plus y x minus y where my x and y are what they are real numbers there is no restriction on x and y now i can write this as now i can separate this vector how can i separate x x plus y and minus y right because when i add x plus y x minus y i get the same answer so i just split them this way and now what i can do is i can take out x outside so this is x into 1 1 plus y into 1 minus 1 correct and now what is this now this is nothing but span of two vectors this is span of 1 1 and 1 minus 1 i have already talked about the spanning set in my earlier lecture link you can see in the description so what is span of v1 v2 it is c1 v1 plus c2 v2 where c1 and c2 are changing so span of this two is x times this plus y times this where x and y are changing so this is the spanning set of these two vectors are these two vectors independent yes that you try to prove how to do that again i have recorded a lecture earlier so you can have a look so these two vectors are independent okay so so this what is the dimension is a two dimensional subspace in r2 so image is in r2 okay so your image is a subspace of r2 so dimension of image is less equal dimension of r2 but dimension of r2 is 2 what is dimension of image it is also 2 so therefore your image is nothing but the complete r2 okay because your image is in r2 and r2 and image both are having the same dimension that means both the space are same so in this case image is r2 okay so i hope you got the idea if not you can just pause the video and think over it and if you get stuck you can ask me in the comment section okay let me take another example let me take t from x y z let me define it as say 2x plus y minus z let me take this as 3x plus 4y plus uh, 2z and let me take this as 5x plus 5y plus z okay now what is image set this is from r3 to r3 so it is t of x y z what is t of x y z it is 2x plus y minus z 3x plus 4y plus 2z 5x plus 5y plus z where my x y z are real numbers fine this is the definition again use the same technique which we used earlier this is x into 2 3 5 plus y into 1 4 5 plus z into minus 1 2 1 where x y z are real numbers so what is this this is span of which three vector 2 3 5 
वन फोर फाइव एंड माइनस वन टू वन यू चेक वेदर दिस थी आर इंडिपेन्डेंट और नॉट हाउ डू यू चेक यू कैन राइट एज अ रो वाइज अपलाय रो ऑपरेशन ट्रिक्स आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड इन दैट लेक्चर ऑफ इंडिपेन्डेंस एंड डिपेन्डेंस सो यू राइट डैम रो वाइज और कॉलम वाइज अपलाय रो ऑपरेशन यू विल सी फॉर दिस यू विल गेट टू नॉन जीरो रोज आफ्टर डूइंग द रो ऑपरेशन देर फॉर द रैंक इज टू दैट मीन्स ओनली टू वैक्टर्स आर इंडिपेन्डेंट not all three are independent okay so that i am not going to do that you do it and if you are not getting you can ask me in the comment section so here you are having two vectors which are independent okay therefore what is this is what is the image image is a two dimensional space in r2 image is a two dimensional space in r2 so that's what you can say from here okay so and it is spanned by whatever the two vectors you will get okay so whatever the two vectors you will get your image is spanned by those two vectors okay let us take some different example uh, let me take a example t from uh, let me take a polynomial space p2 r to say r3 okay what is this i am taking a2 x square plus a1 x Plus a not. This is a polynomial of at most two degree at most two. This will go to a two, a one, a not. First homework for you is you have to tell me what is the image space for T. Tell me what is the image space for this transformation. Okay. So that was one thing. Uh, another thing is suppose if I give you a T map from say. Uh, m2 cross 2 matrices to say m2 cross 2 matrices okay so this is the map i'm giving it to you a b c d suppose this is going to a plus b b plus c 0 0 what is the image space in this scenario again you write down image set over here and if i Take out a outside. This is nothing but one zero 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 plus. I can take out b outside one one zero zero plus. I can take out c outside zero one zero zero, where a b c are real numbers. Now you have to tell me whether these three vectors are independent or dependent. As you can see, this vector plus this vector is this vector. therefore all together they are dependent but the first one and the last one are independent so again your image is a two dimensional subspace of m2 cross 2 it is spanned by 1000 and 0100 so that is what the image space is okay so yeah always write down the definition take out the scalars outside once you take out the scalars outside you will see the vectors once you have the vectors just see how many of them are independent and how to check whether they are independent or not write them in the matrix form apply row operations and see the rank <laughs> and then you will come to know that the image space once you know which vectors are independent it will be spanned by those two independent vector and you can also tell the dimension of that image space okay so these are some of the examples If you have any examples for which you are having a doubt in finding the image space, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you.